Welcome back. Our time is 513. From a new casino to a new restaurant with a side of jobs. Here are the five things you need to know for this day ahead. The Horseshoe Casino in Cincinnati opens to the public today. The grand opening will happen at 8.30 p.m. Cincinnati Mayor Mark Mallory will be on hand for the event. Lines begin forming at 6 p.m. For the, for the festivities. Dan Edwards will have more for you coming up in the next half hour. Kindergarten registration begins today for Dayton Public Schools. This is for the 2013-2014 school year. To be eligible for kindergarten, children must be five years old on or before September 30th of 2013. You can register your children at the Student Assignment Office on South Ludlow Street. And make sure you bring your child's picture ID, proof of birth, an updated immunization record, and proof of re residence. For more information, contact 542-5555. Students at Central State University are rolling up their sleeves to do some good work. The Marauder Service Day is just one of several events as part of the inauguration celebration week for Dr. Cynthia Jackson Hammond. She's the eighth president and the first woman to lead CSU. Today, the Dayton campus of CSU will also hold its grand opening of the little free library and reading center on Germantown Street. A new restaurant in Sydney is adding 100 jobs to the region. Frisch's Big Boy is opening a new restaurant in Sydney. The West Michigan Road restaurant will add 100 jobs. It's been more than 30 years since there's been a Frisch's in Sydney. The new restaurant will be hiring 100 workers, and we have a link to apply at WDTN.com. First Lady Michelle Obama will continue her dialogue about healthy families through her first Google Plus Hangout today. Mrs. Obama will take part in a virtual conversation from the Blue Room of the White House, speaking with families across the country. The Hangout will be moderated by Kelly Ripa, co-host of Live with Kelly and Michael. It all begins at 11.10 this morning. To join in, log on to letsmove.gov. You can always find more information on these or any of today's top stories online at WDTN.com.